Okay, this is a video walkthrough of the Michaels skylights in the season's room. Um, they're having problems with leaking primarily on this side. Um, that side hasn't really had any problems. Sometimes she has some issues. They have some issues with the vent, I believe. Um, we'll start with the vent. I mean, it's a standard vent. Uh, it's, you know, it's got a little of a sh shroud on it, so it should be fine. Um, when they have driving force rain, then it will get in there, and there's not really a whole lot to do on that. Um, we could always replace it um, with maybe one of the a newer one, which I can suggest, but it may not be the best. As far as on here, uh, immediately there's a couple things on here. One is there's layer upon layer of caulk and previous caulk partially removed, um, and then some covered up. And the problem with that is obviously if there's a leak below it, it's just still getting in. Um, the top flashing here has some and it's just flecking away you can see where it's they didn't use the right stuff it Should be like the blackjack or the good stuff So you see here where it's pushed up and I believe when the water comes in You start having to just kind of go along this channel here and it just kind of goes in and you see it just all coming up So the, whoever did this last the caulk they used and that was not the proper like quad or, or blackjack So that's not right uh, you come up onto the flashing coming off of this again. All of this is just not good caulk. I um, mean, see right there, it looks like, you know, it just, it's, it's, they put it up to it like this. This looks more like a silicone, which is probably fine, but even right there, there's a gap. So, likely, I mean, this thing has to be totally cleaned off and then just the proper stuff put on. Um, the seal at the glass looks okay. Um, it's not in the best condition. But again, they just kind of spot put stuff on here that doesn't really work properly. Um, you know, it's just not the best way of doing it. Uh, let's see. So, put my headset in so I'll make sure I get good sound. Um, again, just like people are just putting more and more of the caulk and different things on this, trying to keep it from. Uh, but it doesn't really serve its purpose. Again, this right here is kind of, that's more of the, the good stuff. That looks more like the blackjack and that, but it's still not great. Um, along this seam here where the flashing, the actual skylight meets that little flashing of roofing, uh, you've got different, again, multiple layers. It's, it's cracking and drying and coming off. So if you have enough coming down, it could be working its way underneath that lip there. I mean, this side looks pretty good. Down when you get lower, um, there's nothing really there, so we put a bead of silicone along that, and you know, or OSI like a, a quad or a blackjack would be good. Um, all this here again, it'd just be probably a good idea just to scrape all this off and then do that again. Um, this is again the side that had more problems. You have a little bit of a thing there where at that second between the first pane and the second pane, it just has a almost like a valley. So water could be sitting in there for a little bit, and it looks. Again, I don't know how good this roof is, but it looks like possibly get into here. Right there, it's all just kind of corroded away and not really sure. So that definitely is a place where you could be getting stuff in. There's flashing here, a little rubber membrane over it, and then in between the two where the flashing is, this is all just open there. So that's a definite point where, you know, even though it's on the down, you can get some water in there. Now again, it shouldn't get too much because it's not on this side. If it's on this side, it'd be a lot worse. But still, we'd want to fill that in properly. Um, and again, let's see. You have just points here like where this lip is. It's not really sealed properly. So as the water's coming down, some can get in. I'm not seeing a major point. Um, but like right here, if you look right at the point here. So water gets on here, it runs down, and you get right to that point there, and it hits that bead of caulk or whatever is on that one, and then keeps going on to that one right there, and that again, it can just kind of penetrate right there. So that's definitely not what we want to see. Um, again, the lip here isn't really sealed, so you know those, again, gravity should be taking it away from it, but still, you don't want to see that. Um, on the one side that she said doesn't get as much leaking, same thing, this whole thing. Some had caulked it, but never really formed a seal between the lip and the and the flashing or the uh, the roof. So that could be improved on. Um, 
again, you have valleys and places where, and you have where the old caulk is that's cracking, it actually forms a place for the water to kind of catch. So it actually catches the water in those places um, and lets it sit, which obviously isn't a good thing, um, especially when you get into like winter time and that. Even some of this, this is kind of old and cracked. You know, it's not the best thing to see. Although, again, the gravity, water should be taking it down. Gravity takes it down this way, the slope, so you're not going to have a lot of standing water on these. Uh, one time is probably in the winter time you get ice and ice damming and that, and that's probably not a good thing as well. But, um, again, that's probably not it. And this side doesn't have as many problems, they said. Um, and so, what my recommendation is going to be is that we go through, scrape everything, and put the proper stuff on. Um, you have a few other points up here. Let's see. Again, as you get lower here, you know, you have these big mounds of just old stuff that just literally flex away. Um, it's just not the proper stuff. Yeah, there's there's better stuff that doesn't doesn't get damaged as much by the sun. Um, so, I mean, look, you see it coming off in big flex. So, like here you have the membrane that was cut, and then they covered it, and then you have more there, but it's all breaking away. So, water, when it hits this, it can possibly just get right underneath there into this. So right at this point, you might have that coming through too. Um, again, you have the same thing here. This is flash, and they put in between it, and they put some sealant on. Uh, the sealant really has to be, we don't have to get it all off. Um, probably get as much off as possible, and then do a thick coat on the whole perimeter of the flashing there, perimeter of everything else, and just to, to give it um, a new barrier again. If it's smooth, what we don't want to do is put silicone right over this, because, for example, if put it right over this, it's not really adhered to anything solid, so the silicone will come right up with that piece right there. So that's not going to be functional or beneficial. Uh, same thing, again, as we go down, you're seeing just a lot of whatever was here before is just coming off. And then that's the seal right here. So like here, a good example, you see that little break there. That is what they put a bead of that on. Um, it, for some reason, whatever they use for this flashing, they didn't do a really good cut or overcut, so it actually got shorter here, so you need a bead there to cover it up. It's so the rubber membrane type material that they used. Again, they just didn't use stuff that holds up, or it's, or it's just so old. I mean, again, all the stuff's just kind of just peeling and dilapidated. So um, over there you have quite a bit of it in that corner. Um, it just flecked up, and again, if water gets underneath that, it just sits there. It pools up because you see the lip going up and down. So water just pools right down there. And if you have all that's not a water really good seal, then it's just going to get in there eventually. Same thing here. I mean, water can get here because you have a big lip here. Water can stand in this and kind of just sit, and then you have all the stuff that's not really waterproof anymore. It's going to let it in. Uh, same thing here. That's not a bad thing, so it probably isn't having a problem there. But right here, right there, all along this, there is a little bit, but I wouldn't think it's a big deal. But again, that area right there up, up on there is also an area that you probably have some penetration. Um, and again, this membrane that they used, that they listed, they, they left this here. Um, it really didn't, it's not, it's not adequately sealed. Um, it's the same way over there, too. So I think it's just, you have multiple points that probably aren't that waterproof. That just on days that, you know, some, whatever the angle of the rain, um, where it's driving to and that, you just have more problems with it. So, in any case, uh, that will be what needs to be taken care of, I think, to really solve the problem. Um, I also had to figure out how many hours to handle that, to scrape it, reapply it, and get it looking pretty, and more importantly, functional.